Right, okay. First thing, we need to clean the deck. That's better. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now, today we have the Schneider Easy 9 consume unit. Now, Schneider, uh, yeah, as word on the street would uh, confirm, is a very good brand. They, uh, if you took brands as a spectrum and you had the budget brands down here, and Schneider always seem to sell themselves always up here. They're a higher end brand and they are more expensive. Um, so we will see if, the well, the proof is in the pudding. We will see what this is like to install. So without further ado, let's unbox it. I mean, the first thing you sort of notice about it when you when you pick it up is it's a heavy bit of kit. It's uh, really quite an industrial fuse board. It's really well put together. So the lid comes off like that. That gives you your enclosure inside. All right. So initial impressions. What do we think? I mean, it's a it is very solid. It's a well built. You know, it's a very very well put together uh, piece of equipment. It does feel incredibly just. It, it's got a good feel to it. You know, and you don't get that with some of the more Try to say budget end brands. So initially it does seem very good. It does feel like it's more based Maybe they're aiming at more towards a commercial market because it seems I mean it's perfectly suitable for a domestic environment, but it it feels a bit overkill um, But it's uh, it certainly feels very good. So uh, the proof in the pudding. Let's fit it and see how we get on The biggest problem I'm seeing It's not major, but it's enough that it would you know, it would irritate you if you're doing it every day, like, is the grommets at the top. There's only five entry points on the top of the fuse board. Now, obviously, if you're doing, you know, if this is a 10-way board here, so if you've got, you know, 10 circuits to change over, you're never going to get them through five grommets. It's just not going to happen. And there's no side entry points on these boards either, which I get they've probably done that for aesthetics, which is fine. I've got no issue with that. But I probably prefer functionality over aesthetics. Uh, especially if you're dealing with things like, I've got a 10 mil twin and earth here, well a 10 mil takes up one whole space. It's just more of an observation while I'm fitting it that I've noticed, but the rest of it so far seems pretty good. Okay, so on the plus side, what have we got? Well, these RCBOs, because this board is designed to accommodate MCBs and RCBOs, they've made the board a little bit taller to accommodate the height of the RCBOs, and they fit in like a doddle. They are really easy to fit in. Uh, and the other good thing about them is they all sit perfectly straight in the fuse board. Nothing worse than when you fit a board and as you put the MCBs in, they all they get a bit of a wonk on and they just, when you put the cover on, it doesn't seem to matter how much you try and straighten it out, they just don't straighten out. Uh, but these ones sit perfectly level, which is really nice. It's a nice feature, although they should all do it, they don't. The other thing that was worth noting is that the RCBOs and the main switch, in fact, all of the switches have all got a nice tactile feel to them. The design of the RCBOs has just been really, it's been well thought out. It's a nice tactile, uh, some of the um, more budget conscientious brands, they're a bit more, it's just a, obviously they still switch on off, but it's just a slightly rougher, rougher action. These are nice and smooth. It's just a nice tactile feel, uh, which just, I think it just helps inspire confidence. So now I've fitted it, what are my final thoughts on it? It's a good board, there's no doubt about it. It feels, but it's, the quality of it feels exceptional. There's no, absolutely no doubt about that. Um, if I had to make one single criticism, it would be the knockouts on the top. There should be more of them. Um, but to be fair, that's really the only criticism I can give it. And just quickly, that's the front cover on now. Uh, I've got to obviously label it up and put my blanks in and stuff. But uh, just to finish, that's the end result. Um, and it, you know, but it's a very nice finish. I mean, they've taken a lot of care into the final finish of it, which is nice to see. It does make a nice change. I'd say that's a good effort, Schneider. Well done.